Delicious spread of plant-based foods to share with your friends and family. Mm. 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 In the theme of hosting dinners for your friends and family this summer, I have got all these delicious ingredients from Waitrose today, and I'm going to show you how to make incredible centerpieces, some of which these ingredients are fresh, and I'm going to show you how to make really simple recipes out of them that you can use as a nice feasting plate. And we've also got some that are already made, so all you need to do, plate it up, make it look pretty and serve it with your friends and family. Aubergines, AKA eggplant. I love them, some people they don't and I don't understand why because I actually think they are incredible. They're like silky, delicious, they hold flavors and we're gonna make a centerpiece of it today. And we want them in nice chunks. So slice it down the middle then slice it again and then you get these really chunky, long pieces of aubergine that are just gonna cook, get silky, jammy in this harissa, the tamarind, and all the spices. I'm gonna use Waitrose harissa paste, which makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna use all of it. So you wanna get all of this into a bowl, and then we're gonna add some orange juice, as well as olive oil, maple syrup to make it nice and sticky, and a little bit of tamarind to add a rich depthness of flavor. I'm gonna add some more chili flakes, just for a little bit more heat, a few extra spices. So I've got some ground coriander and a little bit of cumin. Give it a good mix. And then you have a really easy, delicious, fragrant marinade, which is gonna go all over these eggplants, AKA aubergines. Because this marinade is quite sticky, the first thing we're gonna do is roast the aubergines a little bit in olive oil and salt. That way they soften a little bit before we add the stickiness from the maple syrup and the sugars, which could burn. So we wanna add that halfway through cooking so that we get the perfect texture on the aubergines and still add so much flavor to them at the same time without burning. Aubergines, they can take oil, they... <laughs> suck it up so you can be generous with your olive oil. We're then gonna add them to a preheated oven to start roasting them for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna douse them in our marinade. As you can see, the aubergines have been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes. They're getting soft, they're cooking, they're roasting. So at this point, we wanna cover them and drench them in the marinade and then do a final cook and then they're gonna come out so silky and seasoned. I'm gonna put these back in the oven and wait for them to get perfect. The aubergines have now had their second cook, so now they should be absolutely perfectly roasted, charred, smelling incredible, nice and brown. Ooh! To top our aubergine, I'm gonna get some pistachio nuts. I think pistachio nuts and harissa are two things that go really well together. I like to just do a few, a few messy bags, and then the shells come out a lot easier and then you can kind of peel off some of the skins and keep the pistachios in the pestle and mortar. Once you have taken off the skins, you are left with these beautiful green pistachios. So we're just gonna pound those up. I'm gonna add in some lemon zest for just a little bit of acidity. And then lastly, a pinch of crushed sea salt. Mix it together and then you have a really nice pistachio, lemon zest, salty crumb that can go on top. Yum, smells so good. So there's dish number one, your very easy, simple, delicious, roasted harissa umami, spicy, sweet aubergines. So, so delicious. And this is dish number one. So I'm gonna show you what else you can add to complement this so you have a big feast for everybody. Now we're gonna make these potatoes. These are gonna be crispy potatoes with Waitrose za'atar spices. You're gonna cook down some lemon and peel, make it nice and jammy loads of garlic and these are going to be so crispy and roasted covered in spices lemon garlic just absolute heavenly potatoes so first thing we want to do is peel your potatoes add them to a pot of water bring it to a boil make sure you heavily salt your water don't get angry for the amount of salt you need to salt the water for your potatoes they're going to absorb some of the salt and it means after we won't need to season them as heavily so you can be generous. There's a specific ratio. I can't remember what it is, but it's a lot. <laughs> I am out of this salt. <laughs> when it gets to a boil, potatoes look like they're ready to be drained. Just before that, I'm gonna get some olive oil and I'm gonna heat it in my pan. 
so that when we add the potatoes, the oil is already hot. So generous. Olive oil. And on top of that, we are also gonna roast some garlic. This goes straight in the oven to get nice and hot. The fork has kind of gone through, but not all the way. It's not mushy, but it's ready. Now they're drained, you can pop them back into the pan. And then you can give them a little bit of a shake, just to mash them up a little bit. And what you can also do when we add them back to the oil is kind of push them down a little bit, squash them a little bit, just to create a little bit more texture. And we can add our taters. And then you can just kind of push down. Last step, we're just gonna place our garlic face down in the oil in the pan. And that's gonna roast and cook and get nice and gooey so we can make a garlic sauce to go on top of the roasted potatoes. While the potatoes are roasting and getting really crispy and delicious, I'm gonna make like a lemon, jammy lemon sauce to cover our roast potatoes in. So first we're just gonna slice the lemon and we're gonna get all the juice out. We are still actually gonna use the lemon skins. The skins have so much pungent lemon citrus flavor. Use organic ones. If you don't have organic ones, you wanna give them a really good wash and get off as much of the outside, especially if they're waxed. If they're waxed, I wouldn't use them. But organic lemon skins that aren't waxed, we can cook with these and we can use all the flavor and bring it back into the roasted potatoes. So I'm gonna slice these up and we're gonna add these into our pan. We're gonna bring this to a heat and we're just gonna slow cook them until the peels get nice and jammy and soft and we can kind of mash them together. We're also gonna use some fresh parsley. I love fresh herbs with potatoes. You could use parsley, coriander, mint, basil, whatever your favorite herbs are. And we're gonna also add that. And parsley, garlic and lemon, to me, is just, just everything. Like the combination, it's just like, who doesn't love it? We wanna take the garlic out halfway through because we don't wanna burn it. So the potatoes are slowly roasting and our garlic is looking scrumptious. Jammy, garlicky, not burnt. While our lemons are getting nice and jammy, we're gonna make a really simple, quick hummus to go with our falafels. I've got Waitrose, Essentials, chickpeas. We are just gonna drain these bad boys. Save this. We all know what we can do with this by now. Meringues, cakes, mousses, anything. So chickpeas in the water, chickpeas in the blender. Going to grate some garlic in. I don't wanna add it whole because I don't wanna accidentally have large garlic clumps. This is kind of a cheap way to make sure. <laughs> I like a really lemony hummus. So you could use half a lemon. I'm probably gonna use a whole lemon. So we've got garlic, lemon, I need some salt, some tahini. If you can, always make sure you have a really good runny tahini like that. I mean, that is gorgeous. Olive oil. Last step is adding ice cubes, but we're gonna do that after we get it blending. The ice cubes are literally just to help smooth out the tahini and it's gonna get hot, it cools it down and you get a really nice smooth texture. So start blending first. Then this is the quick version of tahini, just so everybody knows. You can do this different ways. I've shown it on my YouTube channel before, how you can cook the chickpeas, take the skins off themselves, and there's a really nice long process for a really smooth hummus, but this really does the trick. It's quick, it's easy, and it tastes amazing. Quick, simple, creamy, delicious. Hummus. My son can eat hummus at the mouthful, literally, like this. <laughs> Potatoes should be ready, should be roasted, should be crispy. Woo! The potatoes are singing. They're literally singing, we are crispy, eat me. They are oh, perfect. perfect. We want them this crispy. We want that crunch. Absolutely delicious, absolutely perfect. We've mashed together the lemons and the garlic. If you have any stubborn skins of lemon, just get rid of them. But if you've chopped them finely, they should melt away and be able to mash them up. Then we've got all these fresh parsley. We're gonna add that straight in there. 
Yum, 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 yum. Then we are gonna add our Waitrose Zatar Spice Mix. We are also gonna add in some salt, a little bit of olive oil, mix this. We can transfer all our potatoes to a bowl. Add a bit more zatar. And then we're gonna mix some of this in here. I just have to, oh, they're hot. I wanna taste it, I wanna taste it, but I know it's gonna burn my mouth. Then we're gonna plate these up and we're also gonna drizzle on a little bit more of this dressing we've made, the garlic and lemon dressing. We've also got some of our pistachio lemon zest salt crumb and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. Now we're gonna make a really simple salad to go with everything. It's so simple, minimal effort. Cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, herbs, lemon, salt, a little bit of olive oil and everyone loves that kind of Mediterranean salad. With the cucumbers, I'm gonna do like different types of chunks, keep it interesting, different diagonals. That's how I like my cucumbers, kind of chunky. And then we're just gonna throw those into the bowl. Then we got our red onions. In order to get them super fine, you can slice them, but I do have a mandolin. So I'm gonna use this to help me. I only kind of use something like this when I'm hosting and I have guests so that I can make it kind of a little bit more special. If your onion is really sharp, cry your eyes out kind of onion, you can just add the onion into some cold water or a bit of lemon juice and let that sit for a minute before you add it to the salad and it will be a lot less cry your eyes out than if you don't do that. But if your onions are, are ripe and ready and tasty, you can just add them straight to the salad. Now, how should we cut them today? We're gonna cut them into chunks, just chunks. Yeah. Herbs. We're gonna use coriander this time. To dress our salad, we've got a bit of balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, salt, black pepper, super simple, give it a mix, and that's your easy, simple, delicious salad. Then we're gonna add those to a bowl to serve, and we are almost ready. On top of our hummus, we are just gonna add in our falafels. They're already made, so all we're gonna do is pop them on top next to it. To go with it, I've got some quick pickled onions just to add a little bit more color, makes it look even more homemade. Slice some onions, add some vinegar, a bit of salt, and a little bit of hot water. Let them sit and they get nice and pink and pickly and tasty. And then lastly, we've got our stuffed vine leaves from Waitrose. These are vegan, everything is vegan here. Um, and we can just plate these because they're already made and they're super delicious. And just like that, we have got an epic, delicious, plant-based feast full of flavors, textures, and yummy food that I'm sure if you made this for your friends or family, if you was hosting, they'd be so, so happy. All the ingredients here are from Waitrose and obviously we've got our stuffed vine leaves that were already made and our falafels, so half the job was a lot easier. Quick, simple, delicious feast. I am going to get a bit of everything for efficient taste testing purposes, obviously. Yes, wine, salad, mm-hmm, falafel, hummus. Oh, she went straight in there. No regrets. Aubergine. Mm, 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 mm. Phenomenal, mm. Hummus. Cri crispy potato, did you hear that crisp? Mm. Mm. Guys, 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 mm. let me just tell you, the flavors, everything together, honestly, honestly, simple ingredients, absolutely delicious flavors. I can taste all the different spices on my tongue. Oh, glorious. If you host a party, let me know what you like making if you try these recipes. I know sometimes having like a plant-based or vegan dinner party can be a bit intimidating, thinking like, what are you gonna serve other than a salad? Let me tell you, everything here, serve worthy. Like, mmm, chef's kiss. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I don't have food in my teeth because I'm still getting flavors and flavors and flavors because it's so good. Oh, um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.